over 200 years ago. One could imagine it looked a lot like this. Middletown, Rhode Island, swampland that would turn into perfect fertile farm ground. Today, the wind blows the cattails that are left. In the summer, a nice ocean breeze. In the winter, a sharp gust that still can't deter visitors from Sachusett Beach. You can't find many places like it, but right here in Middletown, the idea of two very different worlds literally run into each other. Purgatory Road and Paradise Avenue, a contradiction to the extreme. Yet there seems to be a harmony. You can start to imagine how Paradise Ave got its name, but it was once called Swamp Road. Isaac Barker was one of the original farmers here, and he would call it Paradise Valley. Fertile ground, a farmer's dream, and a dream landscape for painters. Bishop Berkeley came in 1729 with a group of people, and then they created kind of like an artist's colony. I think Paradise, it, it was a philosophical idea as much as anything else. And so in the early 1800s, Swamp Road got a more fitting name, Paradise Ave. As for Purgatory Road, the name stems from Purgatory Rocks, where you can find Purgatory Chasm. The rock formation, the views, even the sounds of the waves crashing into the cavern, they don't seem to fit the dismal, solemn name. There are, however, several legends as to how Purgatory Chasm was formed and named. While the story varies, the most popular tale is that of Native American devil Hobomoko. It is said that he carried a Native American woman to the chasm and threw her in after she killed a white man. More stories include the lover's leap. The lovers would make the comment that they were leaping from purgatory into paradise as they would leap over the chasm. While never advised, looking at older pictures of the chasm, it at least seems possible. So even purgatory changes. With the pull of purgatory and the promise of paradise, it seems hard to stay away.